diagonal baste is often used to hold pieces of fabric together while you're shaping them. So in the context of this doublet front, I need to have a shape neckline, which is already completed in this particular image, and you can see that the neckline itself is trying to lift off the table slightly, and that's because of how I've done this uh, basting around the neck. And I wouldn't be able to do that basting as easily were I not using a diagonal baste. So as I stitch the shoulder, I begin here at the neckline and you can see that I'm rolling the fabric over my hand to keep it in uh, the form that it needs to be to drape well on the human body. The diagonal baste itself is a stitch that's taken from right to left through the layers and the stitch is drawn up. It's the same basic stitch that's used in the pad stitch as well in much the same way. As I approach the end of the shoulder, I'll turn and work my way around the armhole. Now in contrast to holding it over my hand the way that I did for the shoulder, to stitch the armhole I will actually use my thumb to draw fabric into the armhole curvature. So you can see that diagonal baste becomes quite useful when you're trying to manipulate layers and tack them together at the same time. These different tensions that are used in the surface of most jacket fronts including modern suits, are important for getting the garment to flow nicely over the human figure. In fact, as I approach the end of the armhole, you can see already how the tension has changed the way the fabric is sitting. You can see that the surface tension is higher than the interior tension, thus making the armhole lift slightly off of the table. This helps the garment flow better over the body and is the essence of the art of tailoring.